as I have been given the gift of freedom to choose. I am free to choose the thoughts that I think and give life to. I am free to welcome the wisdom of God into my life and to follow that wisdom. I am free to love and act according to love, to give and to receive love. I am free to choose how I act in any situation, knowing that my actions will touch others and create my future. I am free to express my uniqueness, to take the opportunities that are given to me and walk through the door of possibilities. I am free to choose positive thoughts and to fill my mind with good, life-affirming ways of thinking because whatever I fill my mind with expresses and reflects in my life. I am free to choose health, to make positive choices, to do the right things that will bring and reinforce health and well-being. I am free to do these things that I know that I need to do to fulfill the goals that I set for myself. I am free to do the right thing when I am faced with a life challenge or question. I am free to listen to my inner voice and allow that counsel. I am free to speak with kindness and love and give encouragement and support to those that are in my life, whether they are family, friends, or new strangers. I am free to stream and be inspired by visions and to create the dreams and visions. I am free to choose joy in my life, to enjoy life and the gift of living, and to share that joy with others. I am free to choose to open myself to all the blessings I enjoy, to share them with others. I choose all these things and many more because I deserve it. This is an example of an affirmation that I wrote um, and affirm in my daily meditations. Um, I think it's really important to write your own affirmations because it contains power and intention. It's based on your own vision of what you want to create in your life, the kind of life that you want to create, the things that you want to create in your life um, is personal and so it's important to take an affirmation that you might find and write it again um, in a personal way you can take an affirmation that's already written and design it according to your own personal desire and then it becomes more powerful. It becomes more yours. And, um, and then when you speak it and you affirm it and you, oh, again, I want to say that affirmations, it's great to write them down, but it's even better to speak them because what you're doing is you are speaking it out to the universe and you're uh, making yourself receptive to receive what you are speaking and also it is an empowerment practice it's something that's very important because it's based on your intention it becomes powerful um, I have seen this in many parts of my own life that affirmations are they're wonderful you can use them uh, by writing them in your own personal way um, 
you know, according to the goals that you have set for yourself in your intention um, journaling and your intention board. And also um, placing them in different areas of your house, your car, um, you know, your office where you work. Just place an affirmation in your purse, um, anywhere that you can see it. And when you're, you know, sitting somewhere where you, you know, you're, you're just kind of waiting for something. Maybe we're waiting for, I don't know, doctors in, your, in the doctor's office or on the train or bus or, you know, or even in the car when you're stopped temporarily with traffic or whatever. Um, even put, put them on a, um, you know, record them. And so you can actually listen to your own voice speaking um, the affirmation. Um, all these things are tools for using affirmation. Um, I think it's important that you reinforce the practice, that you say your affirmations on a daily basis. Um, I think it's like recording over something that, uh, like a tape that be, has been used, you record over. Um, your brain is kind of like that and so and so your subconscious anyway so what you're doing is you're literally reinforcing what you want to create through your journaling process through your intention process and you're empowering it so um, this is an example of my information um, I will be sharing other tools in relation to affirmation in the next couple of weeks. Um, this is the first, one of the first videos for the affirmation practice we're doing now. I'm hoping that I hear from you and how you're using your intention and now affirmation in your own life. And if you need any kind of um, help with writing your affirmations, I'm here. You can email me um, at my email address. You can even Facebook, Facebook me, get, you know, send me a message. Um, if you need to set up a chat, I can set up a chat with you where you can actually chat with me about um, your questions, about using affirmations. Um, I'm hoping that you will start using this as a life tool. It's not something you just learn in a class and then use it for a while when you're in, in the class and then quit. It's something that you will use your whole entire life once you start using it. It's like meditation or any other kind of practice. And so um, I am going to leave this with you and I'm hoping that I hear from somebody um, as to how you're using it in your own life and um, I will be seeing you soon and many blessings. Thank you. Bye-bye.